The third video on Lawson's Pass covers the upper part of the ascent from the main canyon view site to the summit of 1105 meters at Barkenskop. Although this is the longer of the two sections, it's also considerably less steep. It's 5,3 kilometers in length and climbs 605 vertical meters, producing an average climb gradient of 1 in 9, with the steepest parts being at 1 in 4. After the canyon view site, the road follows the left-hand side of the gorge along a spine of the mountain. The going is a lot easier along this section, but the track remains rough, ensuring that your speed will remain below 10 km per hour. Besides the flora and fauna, the reserve also hosts a wide variety of birds, reptiles and insects. The Khamkaberg is also rich in Khoisan rock art and early marine invertebrate fossils. The Tierkloof hiking trail is a two-day trail for the fitter hiker covering 24.8 kilometers with an overnight camp at Okral. Starting in succulent Karoo, this is a moderately strenuous trail taking hikers through a deep forested ravine to a feinbos rich mountain plateau. Here they overnight at the remote Okral camp and enjoy spectacular views of the Swartberg and Otaniqua mountain ranges. Please observe the following guidelines to make sure you have minimum impact on this pristine environment. Stay on the existing tracks, careless driving through the felt destroys plants and small creatures. Prevent soil erosion by avoiding wheel spins. Use biodegradable cleaning materials and take your refuse away with you. Under no circumstances should you throw cigarette butts into the felt. Only make fires in demarcated areas. The vegetation here is extremely flammable and uncontrolled fires are devastating to the environment and costly to bring under control. Please respect all plants and animals. The summers in the reserve can be extremely hot, but generally the climate is suitable for visits throughout the year. At the 4,8 km point, a short descent has to be negotiated as the road dips down through a transverse ravine. This is not the true summit and the track can be seen climbing up the far side of the ridge and disappearing up the hill into the Feinbos. The Hamkaberg Nature Reserve is situated within the Cape Floral Kingdom which hosts one of the richest flora on earth. The reserve is of particular interest to botanists. Here, four of the biomes are represented, namely Feinbos, Succulent Karoo, Subtropical Thicket and Evergreen Forest. The best times of the year to visit are spring and autumn. The rare and endangered Cape Mountain Zebra, Leopard and Honey Badger are some of the reserve's fauna highlights. Other mammals include Elant, Red Hartebeest, Grijsbok, Grey Rebuck, Klipsprunger, Deker, Steenbok, Baboon, Caracal, Artvark, Artwolf and the Blackback Jackal. There's a slight change of direction at the 5.5 km point into the south-southwest as the final section of the ascent towards the summit begins. At the 6 km mark, the road enters a 60 degree right hand bend and soon begins another double 90 degree staggered bend, this time to the left. The heading changes into the northeast as the road skirts the northern side of the summit, which is called Parkinskop. At the 6,6 km mark, another hairpin is encountered, but this one is reasonable in its arc despite curling through a full 180 degrees. The altitude at this hairpin is just over 1,000 meters, and the summit point is not too far away. First, another sharp S bend follows, whilst climbing up yet another concrete section, and finally, the summit of 1,105 meters is reached at the 7,7 km mark. This is as good a place as any to take a break and enjoy the amazing 360 degree views. There's not much shade to be found anywhere on the pass and most of the vegetation on the higher reaches is feinbos and low shrubs. Be sure to watch part 4 which deals with the descent from Barkenskop to the Southgate exit point.